YouTube vinyl community, Valix fans, random people on the internet, my name is Giggins, and we are here today to talk about the Valix, the Aeronaut EP. Hey, that's quite a small record you got there, Giggins. <laughs> I know, it's not a record. This is a card for a Bandcamp page for the band, the Valix, and so this is something a little different on my channel I don't really do, but I felt really inspired by this band to do something a little different um, and help them out, try to show them off with my little corner of the internet here. I thought it would help out a little bit. So This band is very, very cool because they are more than a band. They're a comic book. They're a storyline. It's artwork. It's a concept. It's a theme. Uh, it's, it's a visual aesthetic. It's a whole routine. And I was very intrigued and inspired and impressed by these guys and the setup that they do. Uh, so much so that I want to make a video and talk about their EP they have out, which is three songs. There's a fourth song on there. It's a remix. Um, so I kind of want to go over this real quick. Um, in a nutshell, I'm going to really briefly read the biography they have on their website to give an idea of where to start with these guys. It's a science fiction story. So it says, on planet Adia... Atla? Atla. Yes, let's go with that. A millennia-old cataclysm has covered the planet in toxic fog. Many of the survivors have taken to the skies, living in tower complexes that reach above the murk and sailing airships for trade and travel. So these people live on these airships. Okay, hang on. You got that? All right, cool. Uh, one survivor, an adventurous young girl, holds the key to extraordinary power putting her in the crosshairs of two ruthless would-be rulers. But to survive, she must first unravel the mysteries of the cloud ocean. To do that, she'll need help, she'll need allies, and she'll need a ship. And no ship or crew in the skies has a more colorful, infamous, and checkered past than the Valix. I mean, I'm in. Sounds cool. That's a, a trip above the high seas and the clouds. Um... And so the songs that they do are part of the storyline. But what's important to know about this group, and what I found most interesting about playing this EP a bunch of times, um, these songs stand on their own. They don't even have to be part of a story. Um, you get the idea, but it's not like you're trying to follow along and like trying to look for the clues. Like They stand alone. They can totally be their own thing. Um, so let's get into this. The first track on this EP is called uh, Perihelion. Which is, <laughs> I had to look up what that meant. Uh, it's, uh, it's when a planet is cl it's, it's, in its orbit is closest to the sun. And I'm sure that's got something to do with the story. So I don't know the whole story yet. I don't know the line. I know it's a comic book. It's going to be a comic book and it's in production. Um, so it's really exciting to see where this is going to go. Because it's, it's, it's a pretty cool build up here. Um, but the first song that opens, Perihelion, is this really badass, um, grungy guitar, um, they, they, they charge in over and over again after these brief couple of acapella lines that really set the mood, set the vibe, and introduce you to this world of the Valix. There is an awesome, awesome breakdown in the middle, followed by a supremely executed guitar solo that borders on prog, classic rock, and metal all rolled up into one. Um, the way it ends with that like that was cool I was really digging that um, excellent excellent excellently well done if you're looking for something that's definitely um, heavily inspired by uh, musically I would say like a mixture of maybe uh, a little bit Alice in Chains a little bit Coheed and Cambria um, a little bit of Prague um, maybe even like a little bit like Process the Hero or something along those lines of like uh, a contortionist, maybe something like something like that. Um, real heavy stuff. Um, really digging that song. Excellent introduction, and the the vocals on this album are fantastic. The the lead girl in this group, her character's name is Bree or Bri. I'm pretty sure it's Bree. Um, she is an absolutely phenomenal singer who takes complete charge of the song and uh, adds her own spirit and power to already powerful and spirited uh, musicianship. So the combination of her vocals and the music is, is a fantastic combination. 
The next song, The Line, has these really rubbery guitars that kind of bounce along this really tight, solid drum groove uh, until these echoey vocals come in. And they come in at full force, 100%, like an airplane landing, ready to like completely destroy an airport. They are just like flailing in. Um, and once that happens, it goes into like 100% rock mode, and there's no turning back. And when she screams, the line has been drawn, you freaking believe it. Like, I'm not sure where in the story that happens, but uh, I want to know what's going on, because it sounds intense. Uh, I'm really feeling that song. And the third song on your empty was probably one of my favorites on here. It's got this real heavy, menacing groove that reminds me of like a bunch of hornets that are like chasing you down as you're trying to get away, but there's no escaping. You're not getting away from those hornets. They, they are after you, man, okay? Um, the lyrics detail how like hollow you can feel, how empty and alone you can feel, but at the same time, they also have like a real uplifting quality where like no matter how crappy it gets, it's gonna get better. Um, the melody and the choruses specifically have a real ethnemic, ethnemic? <laughs> they are anthem-like in their quality, yes. And that spirit, I think, carries the message of you're going to get through this. So I'm not sure, again, where this song happens in the story, but from what I can tell, something deep and heavy is going on, and this character isn't losing hope and trying to figure out how to move forward and do the best they can and figure out the situation at hand. Um, you know, it's a song about getting out of your own skin, out of your own mind, and being in complete control of what's going on, and um, really knowing your place in an uncertain world, which it sounds like what's going on here. Everyone's living in airships because you can't breathe the air because it sucks. So, you know, having these fighting entities, you know, going back and forth all the time, and this person's stuck in the middle, but with a great group of people to help her out, um, it's a cool story. So, what I took away from this EP was a lot of love went into this. I think if you're going to have a concept where you're going to have a comic book, you're going to have art, you're going to have music, you're going to have a stage show with costumes, um, you got to go 100% in and do it right or don't do it at all. And they're doing it right. Um, that's something that I've always been real, real weird about with bands who do concepts. Because sometimes it's either totally half-assed or um, uninspired. These guys, that's not the case. It's completely inspired and completely full ass. <laughs> it's not, it's not half ass. It's full ass. Um, I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's nice to hear music that you can tell someone really cares about, um, the whole group cares about, and they're completely involved 100% and uh, made something very interesting and unique. And to make a special project like this where it's a whole thing, going on. It's a multimedia experience. Um, that's fun. You get wrapped up in the story. You get wrapped up in the characters. You get wrapped up in the music and where it's going to go next. And it's all about storytelling and keeping your interest. Um, very smart move in an era where so much music is disposable and gone within 30 seconds and forgotten about that they want to do something that they're going to put their name on the map as a story band that you need to keep coming back to figure out what's going to happen next. Really well done. Um, out of a 10, I'd probably give this thing pretty close to an 8 or a 9. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, not usually my cup of tea musically, but um, I mean, I'm a sucker for a good guitar riff and some nice drums underneath, so that really, that had me hooked. And the vocals, the vocals for me really were impressive. Um, but again, with the whole production of it, I, I again, like a 9 out of 10, because like the aesthetic, the... The mentality behind it and the effort to make art was really inspiring and something special. Um, I can make the easy comparison and say it's like Coheed and Cambria, um, but it's not. It's something different. So I won't make that comparison. Yeah, so The Valix. I very highly recommend checking them out. Uh, you can find them at thevalix.com, or I'm sorry, thevalix.bandcamp.com, and um, you can find their album on there and um, there's more to come so you know it's worth uh, sticking around and seeing what they're going to do next so very very happy to have reviewed that for them and uh, I wish them all the best and I think they're going to do really really well with the music they create because they're doing something unique and fun and special when so much music is just terrible out there now so uh, my name is Giggins this has been Album Reviews with the Valix.
a very cool, complex, and amazing sci-fi story that you should check out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.